Ace's sister has already appeared in the movie version. Hello everyone, I'm Yui, the Research Lab Director. Today, I would like to discuss Viva Ann, who appeared in the One Piece movie version. We thought she might be an original character only in the movie, but our discussions will have revealed some surprising suspicions. Please make sure to watch till the end. 1. Diva Ann First, let's go over some basic information about Diva Ann. Diva Ann is a female guest character in the movie One Piece Stampede. She has the ability of Vision Vision Fruit, a fruit that allows one to make illusions of things they have touched and can even copy the abilities of other people's devil fruits, although the effect is only temporary. It is a very powerful ability depending on how it is used, but Diva Ann is not a fighter. As her nickname Diva suggests, she seems to be an entertainer from a live music club. In One Piece Stampede, she was invited as a special guest at the Pirate Expo and served as the hostess and assistant for the Pirate's Battle for Treasure. Now, a certain suspicion has been raised about Diva Ann. It is thought that Diva Ann and Ace may be twins. You may wonder what the relationship is between a mere guest character and Ace, but this story seems quite plausible. 2. Anne and Ace Portgas D. Rouge kept Ace in her womb for 20 months, protecting the child from the world government, which wanted to end Roger's lineage. As the true mother of Ace, she said, I intended to name my child Anne for a girl and Ace for a boy. As you all know, the name Ace was chosen because the baby was a boy, but is a line, Anne, if it's a girl, that call my attention. The name that was on the short list matches the name of Diva Anne. However, she is referred to as Diva in the movie, and her full name is not revealed. The fact may be a foreshadowing that she has Roger's blood in her veins. If she openly calls herself Gold D. N. or Portgas D. N., the world government will try to kill her. 3. Birthday one thing that Diva Ann and Ace have in common is that they were both born on the same day, January 1st. When Rouge said, Anne if it's a girl, Ace if it's a boy, suspicions of siblings had been raised, but when it was discovered that they even share the same birthday, the twin theory emerged. This would mean that Rouge was carrying twins, a boy and a girl, and that she gave birth to both children on the same day. The reason why she gave two possible names, if it is a girl and if it is a boy, may have been because she was carrying two children at the time. 4. Freckles Ace and Diva Ann both have freckles on their faces. Their faces are not exactly alike, but when combined with the foreshadowing of their names and the same birthday, we can't help but think they must look alike because they're twins. Ace's mother, Rouge, also has freckles. Since Ace's father, Roger, does not have freckles, Ace's freckles must have been inherited from his mother. Incidentally, in the setting material for Diva Anne created by the author, Mr. Oda clearly states that she has freckles. The fact that he went to the trouble of adding this detail makes us suspect that the freckles may be an important foreshadowing for the character of Diva Anne. 5. Revolutionary Army In the film version of One Piece Stampede, it was the Revolutionary Army that rescued Diva Ann from the island where the Buster Call was issued. Since Diva Ann is a civilian with almost no fighting skills, the Revolutionary Army must have judged that her life was in danger if they did not protect her first. However, no matter how much the Revolutionary Army may work for the benefit of civilians, I think they made the decision to protect Diva Ann a little too quickly under such tense circumstances. Even though she is a civilian, she must have been aware of the risks involved in pirate-related work, and in this respect, she was not a mere victim. And the Revolutionary Army's reaction to her seemed a bit overprotective. So, it seems to me that the Revolutionary Army may have known about the identity of Diva Ann. Knowing that she is Ace's twin, Sabo, who is in the second highest position in the Revolutionary Army, may have requested her protection. 
Of course, the Revolutionary Army would have rescued civilians other than Diva N, so this is more of an expectation than a prediction. 6. Stage Version Diva Ann made her first anime appearance in the movie version of One Piece Stampede, but in fact, her design was completed earlier than that. Diva Ann's first appearance was in the live theater version of One Piece, which ran from 2017 to 2019. She was a guest character for the show for the One Piece live attraction event at Tokyo One Piece Tower. While it is not uncommon for characters directly designed by Mr. Oda to appear on the live action stage as well, it is extremely rare for a character to be re-imported from the live-action stage version to the movie version. I may be reading a bit too much into this, but Diva Ann seems to be getting a special treatment that is a bit over the top for a live-action only character. 7. Materializing Ace At the climax of the One Piece Stampede movie, Diva Ann, who is protected by the Revolutionary Army, uses her Vision Vision Fruit ability to help the Straw Hat Pirates escape. The scene where Sabo shows her Ace's wanted poster and says to her, Can you make this guy? And Diva Ann creates Ace's illusion is quite memorable. The scene where Ace and Sabo simultaneously unleash their fire fist to create a path of flames on the sea and allow the pirates to escape was quite moving. However, when you think about it, I can't help but feel that Sabo could have done it alone if he just wanted to create a path of flames. I think Sabo can toot shoe butt fist with plenty of power to spare, but the reason why they made Diva Ann create Ace's illusion may have been a hint at the relationship between her and Ace. Incidentally, Diva Ann also created Ace's illusion in the live action stage version of One Piece Live Attraction. In other words, the ability of Vision Vision Fruit is based on the premise of producing the illusion of Ace from the beginning. 8. Place of Origin There is a piece of counter evidence on the theory that Diva Ann and Ace are twin siblings. The fact that birthplaces are different according to official records. Ace is said to be from an island called Batarilla, while Diva Ann is said to be from Tongari Island. You may think that they are not twins if they come from different places, but there is a bit of a complicated explanation for this. Diva Ann's birthplace, Tongari Island, actually refers to the Tokyo Tower. Originally, Diva Ann was a character who appeared in an event at the Tokyo One Piece Tower theme park located in the Tokyo Tower, so there is a possibility that this information that her hometown is Tongari Island holds a meta meaning. We don't even know if Tongari Island is a real place in the world of One Piece. If Diva Ann were to appear in the original story in the future, it is unlikely that the setting of her hometown would be carried over as is. Also, since both Diva Ann and Ace are of Roger's lineage, it is possible that they are faking their birthplace. Of course, anything is possible when you put it like that, but I think it is a good consideration to keep in mind. Regarding the theory that Diva Ann and Ace are twin siblings, I guess it is at the level of unlikely but can't be ruled out at this point. If she doesn't appear in the main story, it is likely to end up being just a fan lore, but if she is ever re-imported back into the original story, I think the possibilities will increase considerably. That's all for today! Please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. This was brought to you by Yui, the Research Lab Director. See you!